What up guys, your boy Williams Fitness back with another video, yes, again, the consistency this week is crazy, isn't it? I bet you're like, what, again, really? I think you might need to want to turn on those post notifications because I'm coming at you hard big time now. <laughs> uh, no pun intended, oh, that's weird. Anyway, so obviously so far in this series of the Road to Olympia, we've covered Phil, we've covered William... Now I want to touch on uh, who I think is uh, on par almost with my favourite bodybuilder, William. And you've seen from the thumbnail because you've clicked it. Is Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry is a phenomenal, phenomenal bodybuilder. Without a doubt, without a doubt. However, the scepticism I have with with Brandon Curry, and it's, this is not negative, and I'm not trying to like shun Brandon as an athlete or a competitor, is... The whole Kuwait oxygen gym um, path he's taken, and again, I'm not trying to shun those either, because the the issue I have with um, any athlete that's gone to Kuwait and come out of Kuwait, whether it be Brandon, Rowley, Rami, let's not forget that Regan was there for a while, Nathan Diasha was there for a while. Oxygen gym love to play the size game. And I dread to think what their steroid protocols are out there. But it got too much for Regan, who admitted it publicly. And a lot of you guys slayed him for it. Obviously not my subscribers, because they're the best. But a lot of other bodybuilding fans slayed him because he wanted to go into the open. And I think he realised just what actually it took physically to obviously step that game up, put that extra size on. And he thought it was too much of a toll on his body, his system. And back down from it, and credit to the guy if that's what he wants to do. Leave him, leave him be. There's no, there's no harm, no foul. So from that, again, Brandon Curry's come a long way. He's a three-time Arnold Classic champion, and it, yeah, so he's a, he's a three-time Arnold Classic champion. Last year, he only, however, placed fifth in the Mister Olympia. The year before that, he placed eighth. So obviously there is progression there. And from 2017 up to 2019, he's won um, hit the last three Arnold Classic shows. Um, so from that, what can we take? Again, I've said this before. So past performance does predict the future. And I know it might seem a very silly statement to make. But obviously if people are getting better and better and progressing, which is the only thing you should be doing in bodybuilding, is getting better. Obviously until you reach your peak. So... Taken away from the fact that obviously Brandon takes a lot of time out of his personal life um, and flies from the States to obviously Kuwait, he spends months out there missing his family, missing his wife, you know, missing a whole massive aspect of social life. That's the dedication Brandon puts into this sport. And that's what I obviously want to emphasize on. I'm trying to keep this as positive as I can. I'm not trying to like shun uh, Oxygen Gym in any way, but obviously we all know if you go to Oxygen Gym, expect to put mass amounts of muscle on. And obviously with that becomes comes the, the, the huge drug protocol that comes with that. So obviously Brandon is a hundred percent dedicated to this. He obviously sets aside, you know, missing his children, his his wife, his family, which is huge. I mean it is it's, it's a huge thing for anybody. It doesn't matter if you're a fucking accountant or, you know, working on an oil rig, to choose, to proactively choose to do that. And let's not forget why he does that. Obviously, he loves the sport, but obviously when he wins, he can, you know, create a better better environment and, and lifestyle for his wife and kids and etc. Because obviously, when they win these shows, it's not a small amount of chump change that they're taking home. It's decent payouts. So obviously, they've got the supplement deals and everything else, etc., but he's doing that for his family and himself, and credit to him for doing that. I personally couldn't do that, um, so it takes a big, a big person and a big character, and that's exactly what Brandon Curry is. So again, past performance predict, predicting his future outcome. I think Brandon Curry is a number three contender, and I say that very, uh, very firmly. And I think he, he he could comfortably place third this year. And that's just me looking at his previous 
placements, not just at the Olympia, how he's looked, how his posing's come on. His posing's come on a hell of a lot because when he first started out, say like the 2012 Arnold Classic where he placed seventh, his his posing wasn't quite there and you could see he was still trying to like find ground in what he was doing and being comfortable uh, on that stage. And I think that's where, over the past few years, mentally, he's he's driven himself. He knows he deserves to be on that stage. So he has put more time and effort, not just into to building and sculpting the body he's got, but he has put a lot of time into his posing routine. And this is where a lot of bodybuilders will always fail. I've said this time and time again. You can have the best package and look fantastic. If your posing is trash, you will be scored down for it. It's not just how you look, it's how you move with how you look and how you demonstrate and show these fantastic attributes that you've brought on that day. And Brandon is progressing with that very, very successfully. And we've all seen this over previous posing routines and especially with pose downs. He's very confident in himself and in what he brings. And that shines through. Now, the negative side, and I'm going to say it's a bit of a negative side for Brandon, is I do feel he needs to be in the public eye a lot more than he actually is. And I know that's a very silly thing to say when he's obviously putting 100% time and effort into uh, his training, etc., which is what he should be doing anyway. But I feel he might need to just take a step back, maybe do one less show a year. And instead of being on the Arnold Classic... Uh, podium, maybe taking some time out to do a tour. I genuinely think he needs to meet this massive following he's got just to reinvigorate his his, his confidence and to to keep that fire in his belly growing for for another another year, another season, whatever you want to call it. Because I do think he's got a fantastic fan base, and a lot of bodybuilders I can see. Uh, you can just go on and pick out any three bodybuilders. Go on there. On their posts. A lot of people get a lot of likes. But not a lot of bodybuilders get a lot of comments. And it's a silly thing to say. But it's easy to like a picture. But if you're taking a couple of minutes out of your day to comment on somebody's post. To me that's a big thing. And Brandon gets a lot of comments. And obviously he's not going to reply to anybody. But I'm just trying to reinvigorate um, Brandon and boost his ego. Just so he knows just how important what he's doing for his fans is. So that's why I genuinely think he should take some time out to do a big tour. I think he deserves a tour. So I don't know if, you know, Abdullah and Oxygen would give him the time out to do, you know, a fantastic tour, whether it be the UK, the States, wherever it may be, India. India is probably one of the best places to boost a bodybuilder's ego. If you ever see Kai Green, Jeremy Buendia, any of these bodybuilders that go over to like, India, the, the feeling these guys must get when they leave must be over the moon because you're talking thousands of people come out to see these guys. It's, it's like body power. Um, but in the streets, it's amazing. And and again, I think I'm going on a bit of a tangent here, but I genuinely think Brandon needs his, needs to do a tour without a shadow of a doubt. So moving forward from this, guys, what do you think, given the past uh, updates we've received from Oxygen and Brandon himself, and even Abdullah who posts um, updates, knowing what we know about Oxygen Gym and how late they post well say, let's say for example if they posted a picture today and it's a physique update of Brandon Curry we know that picture was a few weeks ago you know we've we've been told this as um, you know it's not a state secret but we are well aware that they're, they're they're older pictures so my only concern for Brandon is is he going to peak too soon we've seen this happen with Rolly before where we've seen updates and you know and the famous Oxygen gym mirrors where they look absolutely amazing. Then they, by the time they come to stage, did they peak too early? Has Abdullah addressed this issue now? Has he fine-tuned his training? Because I don't want to take anything away from Abdullah as well. What he does is fantastic. He is up there with Chris Aceto, Hani, you know, um, Neil Hill, etc. Uh, as being one of the greatest coaches of our generation. But I genuinely think because he uh, obviously is young and he's, he's only been doing this for a handful of years, he is learning just as much as each bodybuilder he's training as well. And it's a learning curve, not just for the bodybuilder and, and the trainer, but 
hand in hand. They have to learn, you know, fine tweaks with carbs and, and proteins and fats, etc. And the same with the posing. So do you think Brandon might pick too early? Um, because obviously last year he placed fifth. Everybody's got him pinned down for a first place this year. The year before that he placed eighth. So obviously there's progression there. Do you think he's a top five contender? Do you think he's a top three? Do you think he will actually win the Mr. Olympia 2019? What are your thoughts, guys? Let's have a conversation about this. So do you think his his posing will be better? Um, comment below. Again, I've asked you probably on previous videos before who do you think is gonna gonna win. I want to know your thoughts because obviously, don't forget the Mr. Olympia. There is a people's vote now as well for a people's champ. Do you think maybe it's Brandon's year to win a people's champion award? Comment below, guys. I've been Williams Fitness. You've been you. Peace.